Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am Chandrika, an IT analyst in TS Info Technologies. In our previous video, we have discussed down Power Automate Get Items Filter Query Examples. In this video tutorial, I will explain you about examples on Power Automate Get Items order by. Usually, there will be scenarios like where we need to sort the SharePoint list based on our requirements. SharePoint will only allow to do it manually. We can create the Power Automate flows to sort out the data at a time without consuming a lot of time. For this, we can use order by property in the get items flow action to sort the data in the SharePoint list. So we'll look at this example. This is my SharePoint list where it has different type of data types and different columns in it. By using this list, I will show you an example of get items order by data. So I will filter out the data based on the sorting done on each column and multiple columns. So now open your Microsoft Power Automate with your Microsoft credentials. I have already logged in to Power Automate by my Microsoft credentials. And now I will explain this example by creating a instant cloud flow. To create an instant cloud flow, just click the create button and select the instant cloud flow in the Power Automate homepage. After that, select manually trigger your flow. If you want, you can give the flow name here or else you can also give in the flow studio. I wanted to give the flow name here. After that, click on create. Now the flow studio is in the copilot mode. It just toggle the option of new designer to classic designer so that it will return the flow studio to classic designer version. Now the trigger has been added here. Before creating the flow, let me tell you the functionality of order by property in the get items of Power Automate. Power Automate get items flow action has the order by property that can be used to sort the SharePoint list either in the descending order or ascending order based on the selected SharePoint list column. Now we'll do the examples on order by ascending and order by descending and order by multiple columns. Let's begin the first example, Power Automate get items order by ascending. So click on the new step to add get items. Select here site address and list name. When you click on the show advanced option, it will show all the advanced options that are present in the get items. In that we can find order by property. For giving the order by property, we need internal name of SharePoint list column. For that, let me go back to the SharePoint list. Now I will sort out this list based on the full name column in ascending manner. So let me take the internal name of full name. For that, click on the column header and select A to Z. And in the URL, we can find the internal name of this column next to the sort feed is equals to. So copy the internal name and go back to the Power Automate flow. Paste the internal name here. After the internal name, we have to give the order sequence that is ascending for ascending it is the notation for asc so we have given the order by to show the filtered items or sorted items in the sharepoint list let me take the create html table in the html table select values from the get item and click on show advanced option now i was customizing the html table so i was selecting custom in the header section enter the values manually Take the header values manually and in the value section, take the values from dynamic content of get items. And now save the flow. Click on test to run the flow manually. After that, select test. Now you can see the flow has been run successfully. And now open the create HTML table. We can see in the outputs of HTML table, the full name has been sorted to the ascending order that is from A to Z. And now edit the flow once. Now we'll do the example based on order by descending order. So open the get items. Here I will give the condition for descending order. So let me go back to the SharePoint list. I wanted to sort the SharePoint list based on date of joining in descending manner. In the same way, take the internal name of this list column. Place the internal name in order by after that space. Provide the order here. I wanted to place descending. So place desc after that in the create html table i want to add one more column that is date of joining and from for the values take from the dynamic content of get items now the flow is ready 
save it and test it manually. When we open the create HTML table, we can find the date of joining in a descending manner, 9th month to 8th month and also the date is from newer to older. Now I will show you example on order by multiple columns. For that, let me go back to the SharePoint list and uh, here I will sort out this new admission list in a order that is full name as a descending and age as a ascending and date of joining as a descending. So let's go back to the Power Automate flow and edit the order by condition. In the order by property, I have given the multiple columns sorting full name as descending manner, age as ascending manner and date of joining as a descending manner. And these multiple columns should be separated by the comma. After that, I will add age in create HTML table. Select the value from get items. Now save the flow and test manually. After opening the create HTML table, we can find the sorted data in the table with the full name, joining date and age in a manner what we have given in the order by condition. This is how to order the data in a SharePoint list using the Power Automate get items order by property. For more video tutorials on SharePoint Online, Power Apps, Power Automate and Power BI, like, share, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for the more videos. Thank you. Have a nice day.